Hi! In this tutorial, we'll make an overview of the most important JetElements module settings. JetElements is a great add-on for Elementor Leaf Page Builder, which allows adding all kinds of content to the website's page when you build it with Elementor. But as you might have already noticed, the module settings differ for different content modules. Sometimes there are multiple content settings and no style settings at the same time. Or it may happen that there are lots of style settings, but there is only one option available for the content. Let's see why the settings differ so much for each of the modules. Now we are on Elemental editing page. Let's scroll down the left modules column a bit to see all of the JetElements modules. You can see the content modules in JetElements block. They are really diverse, allowing to add almost everything to a page, from advanced carousels and maps to post sliders and testimonials, or even WooCommerce modules and contact forms. Let's see what the module settings look like. To do it, click Edit Widget option in the right corner of the content module. Here are the advanced carousel module settings. You can see content style and advanced settings blocks on the top. The first settings block is called Content, and it contains everything that represents the module content. As we are editing advanced carousel, the main content of this module are the slides that are shown in the form of a carousel. Here you can see multiple slide items, which can be added or removed at will. You can click on the item and customize the very content of it, such as the slide image, title, description text, item link. In the settings block you can change the layout, the animation effect, the image size, apply the equal columns height, select how many slides you want to show and scroll, as well as enable arrows navigation and pagination, select what arrow types you want to use. The additional options are needed to customize the content behavior, such as autoplay speed, pauses on hover, infinite loop. In other words, in the content block you can manage everything what concerns the module content. Now let's see what we can do with the style settings. In style block you can find everything concerning the module style, from the columns padding to appearance settings for the slides, such as overlay colors, typography settings, arrows and pagination dot settings. Let's switch to advanced settings. They are usually similar for all the JetElements modules, so you can set the borders, margins, paddings and responsiveness for all of the content modules. Feel free to check them out. Well, let's see the settings for another content module. This time we'll view the advanced map module settings. As you can clearly see, there is no style settings block, so we'll be able to change only the content settings, such as map center, zoom controls, map type controls and pins. In the map style tab, you can select the pre-made style to apply it for the map you want to display, though there is no way to change the colors or fonts, so there is no style settings tab at the top of the settings block. Another module's type is the dynamic module, which retrieves the already existing content from your site and embeds it to your page using intricate styles. One of these modules is Contact Form. Let's look closer at its settings. In the Content block you can only select one of the forms you already have built with Contact Form 7 plugin. At this time I have only one Contact Form, so I select it. In the style block you can see loads of style settings, allowing to create a unique style of the contact form. You can change the font typography, notices appearance, the color of the fields and the button appearance and button label text. The style settings are really immense. In conclusion, I want to say that the versatile JetElements module settings allow building content really easy, without ever needing to learn coding skills. The modules are easy to use and you'll be astonished at how well thought through they are. Thanks for watching this settings overview tutorial.